Oh, man. Tomorrow, tomorrow, man. Still. Still, man. Georgia versus Bama. This, this is what we wanted. I mean, the way, I mean, I was wrong, though. I, I thought, you know, I ain't gonna say I was wrong. I was wrong. Like I said, I was wrong 50%. Because I, I said in our season, I said Texas and them was gonna win the West. You know, Georgia was gonna play Texas and them as the championship. So I was wrong on that. It's dumb. But I said Texas and them was gonna beat them. So I was right about that. So, like, I've been right all season. I've been right by 80%. You know, about 70 80%. Stuff like I mean, many stuff I've been wrong about was USC. Um, I'm wrong about USC being back. Well, they probably be back with Lincoln Riding now in 2024. They probably make playoffs. You know, 2024, USC probably will make the playoffs if we go as planned, you know. But uh, one of the teams, I mean, I, I already see, I mean, I see Indiana was gonna be sorry, Iowa State gonna be sorry. I mean, I said all them stuff, and they was. When I said Penn State was going to be sorry, they was. Uh, well, uh, I mean, I said Florida was going to lose, what, three three games? <laughs> they lost five. Uh, they lost like six, five, six, let's see. How many games? One, six, I mean, they lost Georgia. LSU, Alabama, um, South Carolina, uh, hey, Missouri. That's it, ain't it? Yeah, I think five. Yeah, that's one of the five games. So, yeah, uh, it, you know, and, and I damn well fired, you know. I said damn well I was going to get fired. And he did it. Anyway, all in all, uh, it's something about the seven percent, right? You know, with the recruiting, you know, I said, I said we're going to get Giant Singletary, you know, all them. We did. Um, so far, at least, I don't know what he's going to do at sign day. But, you know, most time you commit in October, you know, and they, and they be having the same coaching staff and all the head coach, you know, most time you're going to commit in December. You know, sign the dotted line or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, you no, know, but I ain't here to come and talk about all that. You know, uh, but Georgia versus Alabama. Uh, man, I I personally think, you know, you know, you call me biased or whatnot, but it would be, you know, I've been right all year. I mean, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna stick with my word now. No, Georgia gonna win. You know, call me a delusion. Well, I ain't gonna say delusion Georgia fan. So you honestly can't call me a delusion Georgia fan. I mean, you know, Georgia lost one game and Alabama was undefeated, and Georgia looked horrible. Because look, this is what I'm gonna tell you. The only reason why the point spread right now is six and a half. I mean, maybe Saturday it might jump up to eight. I don't know, or seven and a half. You know, or the day it might go to seven and a half. You know, but the only reason why it's not under ten. Because it's Alabama. I guarantee if Georgia played, if Georgia was Texas and them, if Georgia played Texas and them, or any other team that played like Alabama has, you know, let's say Texas and them, you know, they beat Alabama and they had one loss. And, and that one loss was the, uh, let's say, uh, uh, let's say Ole Miss. Okay, Ole Miss. Let's say Ole Miss. Yeah. And all the other games, they look horrible. You know, like Alabama struggling, struggling, struggling. Georgia would probably be like a 12-point favorite over Texas at them or any other team besides them. Honestly. Like, I guarantee if Georgia played Michigan right now, this point spread would probably be like a 10.5, 11-point favorite. If Georgia played Cincinnati, it will probably be a 16.5-point favorite, 16-point favorite. Same with Notre Dame. Notre Dame. I mean, now it'll probably be a 19 and a half point favorite since they don't got, you know, uh, Brian Kelly gone. Oklahoma State, probably about, uh, you know, same Ryan Cincinnati mark. 14, 15 and a half point favorite. That's just how it is. But since it's Alabama and, and, and 
Georgia has proven they can't, it's hard to beat Saban. And Kirby lost to Saban three times. And within five years, four years, but 2017, 2018, 2020. Yeah, three years, three out of the four years, you know, choking. That's why the point is spread like it is. But if it was other team, like I said, any other team in 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 the uh, conference, Georgia would be over ten point favorite right now. Just just be afraid of. So my my prediction can't say I'm delusional because it just is how it is. But like I said though, I made videos. Bama gonna be ready to play. I mean it's gonna be a low scoring game. Low scoring game. Yeah, I don't. No team gonna hit the thirties. Only how it hit the thirties of like. Special teams, you know, special teams come to play. And special teams, you know, let's say steal one, like a keep return or a punt return. That's the only way a team get in the thirties, you know. But I don't see it happen, you know. I, I mean, it could, cause like I said, I don't know, you know. Like I said, Alabama gonna be ready. Same thing we had them boys ready. That's why I made a video about. It. I mean. It, right now, Bama fooling me. They fooling me with the struggle wins over Auburn and the LSU and Arkansas. But the moral story is they can be written in Atlanta. All on the line. Saving Jordan them boys here. All on the line. You know, they bounce against the wall. So that's why I say it's going to be a good game. I mean, regardless of they fooling us the past few weeks. But I think Georgia wins. I mean, if I had a guess. Georgia wins 26 to 19. You know. 26 to 19, 26 to 20. I just think Georgia wins. You know, special teams gonna play a big role. And honestly, like I say, this game is tricky. Cause you know Georgia. I mean Georgia has been consistent all year. You know, they undefeated for a reason. They've been consistent all year. You know what you're gonna get out of Georgia. I mean Every week is oh Georgia ain't been tested. Then do it. oh next week Georgia ain't been tested. They do it. Then again Georgia ain't been tested. Then do it. So it been consistent. But Bama, you don't know what Bama you gonna get. I mean, <laughs> you don't like even when Bama lost the test and them, now they still dropped forty point over forty points, and that was a bad game. I mean, Bryce Young got sacked like seven times against Texas and them. And you know, Bama still scored 40 points over 40. So, which is, I know Tess that no man, Georgia. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know what Bama you gonna get. Cause the thing is, like I said on the other video, I trust Bryce Young more than I trust that's way more. Cause I know Bryce Young, he'll throw for 300, 400 yards. You know, I don't know if he's gonna be a Georgia, but I know he can, he's able. He'll throw for 300, 400 yards. So. On any, any, any team, no. On a, on a good day. But Stetson on a good day, he still hasn't thrown for 300 yards. I mean, Bryce Young had, what, 555, um, I think, versus what team he was? Uh, he had 555 passing yards. Yeah, Arkansas. Yeah, he did something like that. Also, was it 555 passing yards? I can't even remember. I remember he, he broke the record. He was a record. Anyway, yeah, I know he's able. Like Bryce Young scare I said Bryce Young scares me. Like, and like I said, with Adam Anderson not being here, I mean somebody gotta step up. Nolan Smith, Robert Bill Jr., Trayvon Walker, Jalen Carter, somebody. You know, they even got Shannon Tindall playing edge a little bit. But somebody gotta step up. Like we if we let Bama get hot, and that's what I'm saying, cause I think George gonna win. You know, this is, I've been right. I just, this is how I feel, you know? But it's scary because you don't know what Bama you're going to get. If Bama, if Bama come out here and look like they did versus Auburn, LSU, Arkansas, then Bama going to get beat by 20. That, that, Bama going to get beat by 20. Like, it's going to be like 24, 24, dog, I don't know. <laughs> it just, it's gonna be like 30 to all go to 10. Honestly, Bama come out there looking like they did versus the other teams, Auburn, 
and gotta go to over all over town Auburn and all that. I, Cause the reason why, Bama, Georgia, gonna run down for a mission. That's it. Georgia's gonna have uh, Devontae Wyatt, Jordan Davis, and then it's gonna be rotating everybody. It's gonna be, we know we're gonna be, like I say, rotating a down formation. Jordan Davis, Devontae Wyatt, slash Jalen Carter, you know, as a two D line. Then with Trayvon Walker, Nolan Smith, Robert Bill Jr., rotating in for the edge. Until Bama showed they could run the ball. And Bama showed, oh man, they, they could run. They gassing Georgia for big runs, 15 yard runs, and and 12 yard runs, and 25 yard runs, and 30 yard runs, like it ain't nothing on that down formation. Then that's when, you know, you're gonna have to switch. And then when you switch, you know, that's when, you know, might have switched to nickel. Then they have four. But until then, like I say, Bama O line has struggled all year. You know, definitely running the ball. And with them having running back problems, like right now I think Trey Sanders, I mean, they, they Brian, Brian Robinson might play, but I don't know, he he probably would be like 65%. But 65% against Georgia, that's horrible, you know. Trey Sanders, he might be the only running back that play, you know. Well, true running back that play. And uh, he, you know, he been rusty. He's rusty. That's all to it. He's rusty. So, if Georgia, if Bama can't run the ball, and they in Georgia see they can't run the ball, like literally, if Bama have like 12 rushing yards going in the halftime, you know, like let's say 30 yards, say 30 yards rushing going in the halftime or something. I'm going to lose. I mean, unless second half, they turn around and just, you know, go from 30 to like 150 rushing yards or something, you know. But I don't see it. I mean, it's just how it is. And, and Belma defense, like I say, Belma defense talented. I mean, Jalen Armour Davis, you know, all them. But it's just Belma, they may have a lot of busted coverages. Like, I don't know, like I said, I don't know if it's Pete Golden. You know, with the calls confusing them, or just the players ain't processing it. But Bama be have a lot of blown coverages. Like, you know, all teams have blown coverage. Like Georgia, they be having some coverages where a dude be wide open. But that be on, you know, with them trying to rotate younger dudes like Javon Bullock and and uh, Navasay Carroll, um, David Daniel, or uh, who else? Um, Oh, yeah, Kamar Lasseter and all them. I mean, you have a few, like Tennessee on the first play. You know, there was, a, you know, blown coverage or whatever. But, I mean, it, 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 but Georgia have a few, you know. But by full-time starters, you know, it's like once out of every 30 plays. But Bama, it was like once out of every 13 plays, you feel me? Like, we're like, man, like, that's wide open. Like, what Bama doing, you know? But, uh. That's a Bennett, he gotta come up big. That's what that's what it's gonna come down to. I mean, I feel like Georgia gonna oh, run, Georgia O line gonna run. You know, Will Anderson gotta be contained. He a monster. You know what I mean, I, mean, I ain't gonna say you can't stop him. I mean, you're not gonna stop. He gonna get his two to three sacks regardless. You know, let's just see what it is. He gonna get two sacks. You know, you gonna get five hits on the quarterback. Let's see what it is. That's what you gonna get out of him basically every game, unless he just be hurt. You know, if he healthy, that's what you're gonna get. He be hurt, he got an got like a sore ankle, or, you know, or, you know something that's, you know, he's not really 100%. And yeah, I mean, be, I don't know. So, Stetson Bennett, he gotta stay in the pocket, he gotta live. He can't, he can't be folding. He can't try to do too much. Try to do all that running around and then throw across the field and all that. That's it. Can't do all that, man. He's gonna get intercepted. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like George going to win. I mean, I can say the score probably going to be like 27 or 26 to 20. 26 to 20, you know. Field goals, 
fear goals, fear goals gonna be big. And fear goals and fear goals, more fear goals. That's what it's gonna be. I mean, it's gonna be probably about seven field goals kicked in this game. We're either make it or miss, you know. From each team, I'm, I should say. You know, it's probably gonna be like seven field goals kicked in this game. From each team, I say I say five by five field goals. And that's 15 points off field goals. So that's what it's probably gonna be. I mean, whether I say we'll make it or miss, so it's gonna be about five field goals kicked from each team. You know, I feel like Kerry Jensen gonna he gonna turn the game over. I feel like he gonna he been getting so close. On punt return, I feel like this game he finally do it. You know, with Georgia, you need momentum. And then he just steal it. And then, you know, like, game might be tied up or something. And then he just he just makes a game-changing punt return and flip the whole script of the game around. And then Georgia just, you know, keep on going. You know, end up winning the game. Then I'm going to score a late touchdown, you know, and then Georgia, they do an onside kick. Georgia recovers. You know, Georgia just near the ball down. And Georgia wins. That's how I feel like he's going to go. Hopefully, you know. It's uh, going to be very tough. You know, part of me is scared, though. Because, like, man, like, Saban losing the, both his assistants, two, you know, two assistants in the same year. I mean, I see different years, but losing the two assistants in the same year, man, that's tough. And the thing is, we gotta be, we gotta put Belmont. If we put Belmont now, you know, we probably gonna win the whole thing. I'm pretty sure we're gonna probably win the whole thing. Let some, you know, dramatic strike lately. Oh, Georgia get injured, boy, COVID happen, you know. But because the thing is, if you if we get embarrassed about Belmont, you know, then it's like, man, we gonna get brought down to reality. And we're like, man, we not so good after all, you know. Then it's gonna be hurt, cause you know we had to play in playoff game, probably against Michigan, maybe. You know, with a you know, that could be a factor. Be like, man, like Stetson Bennett, like, can we trust Stetson Bennett? You know, we played a pretty good team, and he out there throwing like like sound for twenty five, three interceptions or something. You know, but if we come out there and beat Belmont, I mean, we'll probably have. Uh, Oklahoma State, maybe, the first game. Should, should have them. Beat them like 24 to 3, something, 24 to 7. Then we might have Cincinnati, Michigan, the next championship. I mean, that's just all what it is, but we got to be Bummer first. I ain't looking at the playoffs. Like, that's a scary thing, because I don't know. I mean, I, mean, I know I know them boys want it. I know they want to be Bummer. I know Kirby want to be Bummer so bad. You know, I know he, but just the fact that. The scary thing is, if Georgia loses the game still, they're going to make the playoff. I mean, even, so it's just that mentality, like, man, like, like, do you just, I, but that's a good thing, though, for us. You know, if Belmont lose, they out, but if Georgia lose, they still going to be in, so that, but it's just, you know, I just don't want to give Belmont another chance. Then they get a whole month repair. Like, they get, like, 24 days to prepare for this, you know, the next playoff game, like, now it's December. Fourth, then they don't play again to January first. You know, then if you get them and get their players back healthy and, and they offense together with Bill O'Brien and Jamie, so when you know that's that, that what you don't want. You don't want to give Belmo chances. That's a chance to get better. You don't want that, Georgia. Nobody want that, Georgia. They want scared because I don't know what Belmo we gonna get. Like if Belmo was consistent all year, you know, like Georgia has. Then this my prediction will probably be different, but the fact that they've been struggling, and he's like, man, you don't know what you're gonna get. Like, you know the old line horrible, and you know the running backs hurt, and you know Bryce Young good, but if he ain't got time, which is uh, Georgia, you know, gonna give it to him, you know, and you know we got Stetson Bennett, and he's you know, and he hasn't like really just like the scoreboard and passing or whatever. You know, most of his games be like 16 or uh, 13 for 25, you know, or 17 for 29. That's most. That's where his stats been. So I, I just don't know. Either way, you know, one of the little go dolls I'm out.